Now we'll do a few simple experiments with air in which we are going to show that uh, air contains water vapor and air also contains carbon dioxide. So to show the presence of water vapor, what we have done, we have taken an empty glass and then to an empty glass, we, I have added few ice cubes, right? And I have uh, like, I'll just leave this thing undisturbed and what happens on standing, like I just leave it undisturbed for a few minutes. What I'll see that after some time, there are tiny droplets of water which are seen, <coughs> which are seen on the glass. You know that uh, this actually show that the air, it actually show that air contains vapor which on coming in contact with, which in coming in contact with glass gets condensed. That is the reason you see a water vapor outside the glass. So this actually proves that water vapor is present in air. Secondly, we are going to show that uh, air also contains carbon dioxide. So what we have done, we have taken lime water in a test tube which has two tubes A and B. So what we are doing with the help of tube B, we are sucking in air. We are sucking in air. We are just uh, taking the air inside. So uh, as a result, when the air moves out, air starts moving out. So air from A side is pushed in. And when the air A, uh, air from tube A goes into the uh, solution, it turns lime water milky. That means after some time, we'll see that this lime water, which is initially transparent, uh, turns into a milky because uh, it, this air contains carbon dioxide and it is a taste for carbon dioxide. We know that it turns lime water milky. So this uh, milkiness of lime water actually confirms the presence of CO2 in air.